Just two small town boys living in a lonely world. The DOT took the midnight plane going to Tokyo. Ted was just a city boy, born in South London. He took the earlier bus into Fuji Rock, leaving little time for him to sleep, as he must prepare everything for the band's very first festival appearance. Having completed the further three-hour bus ride to the mountain site, the boys only hope that this show will fare a little better than last week's warm-up show in Hackney. It's not working. You've fucking broken it. Well, what we're going to do? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, Mike's going to be a couple of minutes. Um, if you can talk amongst yourselves for a while, that'd be great. The first thing Mike and Rob want to do is take in the red marquee tent where they will be performing. It's hard to get much done, however, as phone reception is scarce, fans are plentiful, and Ted is missing. There's a fine line between jet lag and being comatose. And with the help of Mike's prescription sleepers, Ted has most definitely crossed it. Promo waits for no man. And while Mike and Rob press on with their promo commitments, it's never far from their minds that the advance party may have taken a step over a precipice. I don't know what the fuck happened to Ted. I know. The interviews went all right. The Japanese really love us. Fuck. He's got our ears. Without their in-ear monitoring system, it will be impossible for Mike and Rob to hear themselves on stage. And like Luke approaching the Death Star with his eyes closed, they will be flying blind. With no Obi-Wan to guide them, all they can do is roam the site, hoping to find one solitary Westerner drugged out of his mind on Ambien and holding the oral key to the band's future. It's just not working. The phones are not working. No signal? No signal. We're fucked. Does this mean I'm going to have to shout my way through the gig? I'm not even doing this gig. I'm telling you, man. Ted! What happened to you, man? In life, there are as many last-minute failures as there are successes. But not today. Today is a good day. Out of the 7,000 people filling and spilling out of the tent, only one of them is asleep. The rest are more alive than they have ever felt. And the DOT are finally in business.